Hey guys, Matt Kentucky Range Time. And I'm back today from Northeast Kentucky Fish and Game, and I have the uh, the Faxon 24 inch uh, six millimeter arc barrel installed in uh, an Arrow M4E1 upper, billet upper. And we're back over here at the range and I'm getting ready to do function checks and just do a couple of four or five quick groups with this to see how this barrel's grouping right out of the box. So uh, this is going to be the tail of the tail, I think. The, the, the Odenworks barrel, the 18-inch Odenworks barrel, uh, it came right out of the box doing three-eighths to half-inch groups of factory ammo. The Ballistic Advantage came out of the box doing around inch, inch and a quarter groups of factory ammo, and just curious to see what this one's going to do now. So here we go. Okay, so here's our setup for the day. Um, this is uh, the 24 inch barrel, uh, Arrow M4 E1 upper and lower, Arrow Atlas handguard. Um, I've got the new Magpul um, PRS light buttstock on here. And uh, I've got a Silencer Co. Uh, ACR uh, adapter for, for a, <clears throat> a suppressor I have who's currently still in jail. Uh, about seven months in on that so hopefully I'll, I'll have that coming out here in the next couple of months and i can actually integrate that into this too uh rounds i'll be firing today right off the bat uh the, the hornady 103 grain precision hunter the hornady 105 grain black full metal jacket open tip <clears throat> and the hornady 108 grain match and this is uh this is an eld bullet this is full metal jacket Hotel Hall Point, and this one is a ELDX. So these are going to be the factory rounds that I'm, I'm shooting today. My, my first uh, probably 10 to 15 rounds out of this rifle are going to be a group, one group each with these. And then also I have some hand loads here that I brought with me. Uh, these are the Warner D 58 grain VMAX the Spear 70 grain, 75 grain uh, Extreme Hollow Point, the Burger VLD 115 grain, and these are, I think, the 70 grain uh, Nozzler Ballistic Tips. So I'm gonna be shooting at least one group with each of these, these ammos and see how they do down here. Okay, I'm gonna do initial function check here with the uh, Hornady 105 grain uh, Boatail Hollow Point. I had a full box of these. Uh, I actually only had three of the precision hunters in this box. So I will do three shot groups when I actually start doing these comparisons, but I want to get, you know, five or 10 rounds through this barrel, um, just with this 105 grain. One to kind of sight my scope in a little bit and get a little bit closer. I'm not shooting for bullseyes on this. I'm shooting for groups. So as long as I can work this group up, I actually prefer not to be in the bullseye spot, in the in the orange dot at all, because once you put those holes in there, it starts messing up your aiming point, and uh, it's a little bit harder to, to aim. So I actually prefer when I'm shooting groups and testing, uh, doing load tests with load ladders and stuff on the hand loads, I prefer to be an inch or two out of the bull uh, with all my groups. So that's what we'll be going for here. And I'm always picking up brass at the range. There's always plenty here. First shot's coming in.
So first shot's about eight inches low and about six inches to the left. I'm gonna finish the three shot group here and then I'm gonna do some adjustments on the scope. All right, first indications. I've got a string angling across diagonally. Probably a six inch group for three shots. Second group, I have two about an inch apart. I have a third one about two inches out. Elevation came in pretty close that time. Third group of three. Four inch spread. All right, I'm gonna go down and mark these. I've got holes all the way through my field of target dots down there, so I need to mark these. And uh, I'll come back and start trying some of this other ammo. I'm hoping it just doesn't like this 105 grain because. <clears throat> I 
All right. That was a little less than impressive results from the 105 grain. Of course, this was first rounds out of this barrel. Uh, and we'll see. Next up, the 103 grain ELDX. It's the Hornady Hunter line. Three rounds of this. That's better. I've got two and a half inch, and the third one is probably at an inch and a quarter out. So that's much more promising results than the 105 grain. Here's a 108 grain ELD Hornady match. Failure feed. <clears throat> These two mags here are both brand new AR Stoner mags I picked up from Midway USA the other day. Um, this is actually the first round shot out of either mag. Let's see what that did to that round. See that right there. I'm gonna go ahead and shoot this one. Obviously, this can influence this round a little bit. I'm not expecting to see any big discrepancies. That did not even strip that round out of the mag. <clears throat> May 
has some issues with these AR stoner magazines. This is a, uh, well, that one's an AR stoner as well, it looks like. I don't recall ever having any issues with those. about a two inch groove that did open up a little bit from what the 103 grain did. All right, next up, I'm gonna have the uh, 58 grain VMAX the 70 grain Osler ballistic tip and the 75 grain spear extreme hollow point. A little caveat here, that extreme hollow point has given me the best groups I've ever shot with my six arc with any bullet combination of factory or hand loads. all over the place. Obviously I'm going from a 103 to 108 grain bullet down to a 50 grain, 58 grain bullet. So it's 50 grains lighter, but I have one impact 12 inches high and three inches left. I have one impact on elevation, but four inches to the right. And I have one that hit off the paper somewhere. So, bolt did not hold open on the last round on that one. So that one impacted about six inches high, two inches to the right.
of impact was shifted significantly, but those did group uh, probably two and a half to three inches. And the bolt did lock back on that one. Spear 75 grain extreme hollow point. First two were three eighths apart. The third one opened it up to about an inch and a half. So that's a fairly good group there. Bolt did lock back. All right, I've got one more to chest. This is the burger 115 grain VLD. Failure to feed. And that could just be this mag. Got a nice triangle size group with those, probably right at an inch. Got to do it. <clears throat> I'm going to go back with three more of these 105 grain and see if they group any better now than they did being the first rounds through.
my six inch spread on again. All right, let's go down and mark some of this stuff before I forget what it all is. Okay, so the burger VLD and the spear extreme hollow point both gave me about one inch groups. I've got 30 rounds through the gun right now. I'm gonna do 10 more rounds, five of each one of these two. I'm gonna do two five shot groups and we'll see where those hit. And I'm probably going to take this home, clean it real good, and uh, come back out later and try again. Looks like we've got some weather moving in. <clears throat> this VLD is at just under max length to be able to fit in the magazine. I typically start there and then if I need to start adjusting my seating depth that only leaves me one direction to go on that being down <clears throat> but these are hand loads so I still have powder charges to play with and pretty confident I can dial these in pretty good That's encouraging. The last three of those five shots actually grouped up right against each other. Uh, hole to hole to hole. So I've got three holes that are touching there. And that was the third, fourth, and fifth round out of that group. That's what I'm looking for out of this barrel from Faxon. Now, going back with the 75 grain extreme hollow point from Spear. Got to find a dot out here I can shoot. Everything was laying to the left a little bit. I'm going to adjust my my windage. Three inches to the right, because I've got plenty of real estate on the right side of almost all of those dots down there.
getting some rounds down the barrel. It's getting fouled a little bit, which actually at this point is actually breaking it in and helping smooth everything out. I've got a vertical string. Of about an inch and a quarter with four of those. And I've got one just off to the left. So a uh, vertical string could be me breathing normally is. So that's a, the fact that they're all basically in a straight line. I'll, I'll get a, I'll get a short clip down there down range in a few minutes. And, uh, it's all right. The more rounds I put through this, the more promising it's looking. looking at these last two groups of five shots each this is the burger 115 vld one two three four and five that's actually three of the five rounds right there that's probably just over a quarter inch in that group and then here is the second group of five of the spear 75 grain extreme hollow points and this inner dot is an inch the outer dot is an inch and a half, so I'm going to call that center to center. Probably just a little over an inch, inch and a quarter maybe. So these two are very promising. I, you know, I went from this three-shot group with the hollow point to that five-shot group, and I went from that three-shot group with the VLD to this five-shot group. So... All right, the rain holds off here. I may put up another piece of paper and I've got this 20 inch ballistic advantage barrel. I may run a few of these through it as well. So all right guys, there you got it. That's the 24 inch Faxon barrel. And uh, honestly, the more rounds I run through this thing, the, the more promising it looks. Uh, I was getting some really good results there with the, uh, with the Burger 115 gram VLD, which really the heavier bullets uh, with this barrel, trying to shoot long range, the, the better off I'm going to do. So that's, that's really exciting for, for what I had planned for this barrel. Um, and, uh, still going to do the three gun comparison, uh, coming up here in a couple of weeks. I need to figure out my optics and I need to figure out what I'm going to do about scopes. Uh, the one scope I've got is not as good as the, uh, as the, the night force or, or this right on. Uh, as far as it's, it only goes to a one to six. So it's not a real fair comparison with that scope on there. You know, when I'm running 24 power, 30 power on the other two. So, uh, I may swap, use the same scope and actually swap it from rifle to rifle as I do this test, just to, to try to make it as fair as I can. Uh, and also the, the Odin works barrel has probably six, 700 rounds through it now too. And, uh, so it is well broken in and, and very consistent. Uh, and it, still get a feeling that the ballistic advantage i ran about another 30 or 40 rounds through it earlier as well uh, i was getting some really good groups with it on a couple of other bullets uh, so still breaking in two of these three barrels and i may do a few more shots before i do the side side comparison but anyway stay tuned i'll be chronicling a lot of this as we go and we'll catch you guys later matt kentucky range time if you've got any questions leave them in the comments thanks for watching and we'll catch you later